So you're waiting for an order to arrive, and instead you get a message saying that your shipment is missing. What a disappointment. You hastily click the link to find out what you can do, and that's when it hits you. You have been tricked. You probably clicked on a so-called phishing link. But what is a phishing attack exactly? Well, it has nothing to do with catching fish. Phishing definition says it's a cybercrime whereby criminals send spam messages containing malicious links designed to get targets to either download malware or follow links to spoof websites. It's the most common form of cybercrime with around 3.4 billion spam emails sent every day. So you're not the only one who fell for it, but since you did, now what? First, let's see what are the types of phishing, so you know what kind of beast you're dealing with. Starting with what is spear phishing, it targets specific users. For this to work, the threat actor already needs to know some information about you, such as your name, address, place of employment, or so on. They use that information to make their phishing message look authentic and believable. A very profitable form of spear phishing is whaling, as it targets senior executives and high-ranking managers. These scam attempts usually pressure to quickly transfer funds. Email phishing scams are the most widespread. It takes less effort for each message than spear phishing because it relies on the sheer numbers. Attackers can send thousands of emails with just a few clicks. So even if a very small percentage falls for the scam, it still works. But they still have to make it believable, right? Well, at least by some of the recipients. For that reason, email phishing and scams tend to mimic actual emails from spoofed organizations by copying phrasing, logo signatures, and even creating websites with domains that closely resemble the original ones. In those cases, it's called clone phishing. Another thing to keep in mind is that those emails usually create urgency to act. The less time you have to do certain things they tell you to do, the less time you have to think it through. Now that you're familiar with the common phishing types, let's see what to do if you click on a phishing link. First of all, don't panic. Most likely we can still avoid any real damage. It probably goes without saying that after clicking on a phishing link, you shouldn't provide any personal information. That's what the attackers are after. However, if you've entered your bank credentials there, contact your financial institution immediately, like right now. They will freeze your accounts until the issue is solved. Don't worry too much about it though, it's a standard procedure for them and they'll walk you through every step of the way. If you immediately realize that you've clicked on a phishing link, disconnect your internet ASAP. Clicking on those phishing links often triggers malware downloads, so no internet, no malware. That said, most malware is really light and gets downloaded almost instantly, so I recommend running an antivirus scan right after. Most operating systems have built-in anti-malware protection, but to be honest, it's often not enough. There are also free antivirus solutions, but I'd still recommend getting a premium one. There are plenty of affordable options, like Bitdefender or TotalAV, for example. Once you have opened your preferred antivirus, I recommend running a full scan just to make sure your entire device gets checked properly. All right, after you scan your device for malware, you need to change your passwords. Threat actors can often gain access to your credentials via phishing links. When changing passwords, don't reuse the same ones across different accounts, as it makes it even easier for threat actors to get a hold of your information and funds. To make this process easier and your account safer, I recommend getting a password manager. My personal favorite is NordPass. It's an easy to use provider with industry leading encryption, all the core features and plenty of additional ones. But there's plenty of other good options to choose from. You might be thinking that it's not worth investing, but check this out. According to the latest FBI's Internet Crime Report, cyber attack victims lost over $10.3 billion in 2022. And phishing was by far the most occurring cybercrime over the past five years. For you to not become one of the hundreds of thousands of annual phishing attack victims, a good idea might be to also set up a fraud alert with one of the bureaus that specialize in that, especially if you have lots to lose. But we want to stay safe long term, don't we? Let's see what you can do to prevent phishing attacks in the future. The very first step is learning to recognize the phishing attempts. They will often claim to have detected suspicious activity or login attempts, so watch out for those. If it asks to confirm personal or financial details that are unnecessary, that is also a huge red flag. They will also often attach unidentified invoices that are fraudulent 
or encourage you to click on a payment link embedded with malware. While legitimate companies may use email to communicate, they never ever send you some link in text or email for you to update your payment information. Another easy tell is poor spelling and grammar in an email. And if you're unsure about an email, look closely at their domain name it might not make a lot of sense. If you're still unsure, you can verify its authenticity by contacting the supposed sender directly. There are too many examples to name, but I hope you get the gist. Another tip to stay secure is to use strong passwords and rotate them regularly. I've mentioned using a password manager already. It can not only help you with that, but also with setting up 2FA, which might save your information, even if the attacker gets your login details. Checking if the website is secure is another thing to keep in mind. Now, sometimes it can be difficult to tell where whether it's legit. Some top VPNs actually have features for that. For example, NordVPN's threat protection blocks you from accessing malicious websites and informs you about it. By the way, if you want a nice discount on NordVPN, I've got deals for you in the description down below. And I promise it's not a phishing link. All right, I hope that by now you understand the phishing meaning and how big of a problem it is in 2024. If it happens that you clicked on a link or even entered some of your personal details in a phishing attempt, you can always come back to this video and follow the provided guidelines. As for now, stay cautious and get cybersecurity tools such as a reliable antivirus and a password manager or a VPN. It's a worthy investment. Besides, you can get some nice VPN deals with the discounts in the description. If you've been a target or a victim of a phishing attack, don't hesitate to share your experience in the comment section. And if you want more cybersecurity related topics with tips and tutorials, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay safe.